just as a disclaimer, I'm not a certified motorcycle mechanic. We do this here, Scooby style. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pete, they call me Scooby. Today, I'm gonna be working on the old scoot over here. I took it for a ride the other day and I noticed that the uh, front tire felt a little loose. Um, I would have put that video out, but the, uh, the front tire felt a little wobbly, I should say. And um, I checked the air pressure, my air pressure was low on the front tire, so I noticed that my hands got really dirty. So what does that lead to? You lead to cleaning your bike, right? So when I went to go clean my bike, I noticed I don't know if you're going to see this or not without a flashlight. Them brake pads look really thin. And uh, so I checked the front one also. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. Probably not on the front. But those are also fairly thin. So now I'm going to change the brake pads. And um, also with one of the videos that got deleted, I, three videos got deleted that day. What happened was I had it saved to my desktop. We lost power and somehow those videos got deleted unless I foolishly deleted them. I'm kind of leaning towards that. I think I foolishly deleted them, but I'm gonna go with we lost power and um, the computer deleted it. Not my fault, right? Good. Let me show you some of the spark plugs. I changed the spark plugs on this also a couple of weeks ago during Laconia week. Can you even see that? was the one in the back because it's got a bigger gap it wasn't gapped right yeah or it wore down i don't see any wear on there but uh either way the spark plug in the gap was at 42 what is that millimeters i don't even know what it's called the gap was set at 42 yeah, 42 millimeters, and the front was at 38, I believe. And it's supposed to be between 38 and 40. So, put the new spark plugs on. You can't see them, but I actually still got to take this out and put um, dielectric grease on the boots. I didn't do that. Because I don't have detachable bags, I got to unbolt this bolt right here. And this bolt right here to get the saddle bag off so we can get with the installation of the uh, brake pads so let's get into this so there we were beneath the burning sky both had a reason to live but so much more to die Fate decide who has to really should get detachable bags that would have made it so much easier even though that wasn't that bad it was only two bolts and it came right off but now we have access to the uh, caliper so now we're gonna have to break these two bolts out that's a pin that's gonna stay in there for now we're gonna have to back out these two bolts and I believe the caliper comes off you're gonna need a T40 Torx bit to get those out. How's my socket now? Okay. 
Probably a good idea to get gloves. That's the top. No, they're not actually that bad. For some reason they look worse. There is a little spring clip in there. You gotta be careful with that little spring clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little pry bar with these brake pads in here, spread these apart so I can push these pistons back in. There goes that clip I was talking about. As you can see, the little boots are pushed in now. Now I need a 12 point socket. Quarter inch 12 point socket. You can tell it's old. I bought this socket specifically just to do that. And we're gonna be replacing the rear brake pads with factory brake pads. Why not? That's the part number. The rear says RR on there. Maybe it would have been a good idea to break that loose while it was still connected. <laughs> good idea to break that pin while it's still bolted in. Oh, this is going to be fun. Summer just started and the GoPro is already overheating and it's sitting in the shed. Anyway, here's the uh, new brake pads, right? You want to make sure you get no grease on this. Always keep your hands clean. Nothing on there. When you put this together, that's going to sit inside that little clip right there. See how that goes in there? One on one side, one on the other side. That's how that's going to sit in there. All right. So my GoPro keeps shutting off. It's overheating. I don't know why. So I ended up putting a little lubrication on this bolt right where it, right on the edge here so that it's easier to feed through because it's got a rubber boot right there. That there was fine to go in. Um, make sure you torque everything to manufacturer specifications. I don't know if you can tell or not, but see the pads? It goes into those clips right there and that's what holds it in place. You're gonna get a little bit of play in this and that's normal. Is it, it isn't such a bad job, so don't be afraid to tackle it, as long as you got an owner's manual. But if you are afraid to tackle it, take it to a certified technician. I'm just here just to show you that it's not that hard of a job. I'm not a certified technician. And um, this is obviously an important part of your bike. So if you're not mechanically inclined, I'm mechanically inclined. I can't stop sweating. I'm in my shed, I got the door open, it's like 90 degrees out there. Tomorrow's gonna be even worse. So, did you hit that like button yet? Go hit that like button, guys. Talk to you guys in the next one. Did you subscribe yet? Cause I'm gonna be doing the front brakes next. That's gonna be in the next video. Talk to you guys later. So after you do your brakes, you wanna take it for a little test ride in the neighborhood. You gotta let them go through a few heat cycles.
Now what I like to do, after I do this little test ride, is I'm gonna recheck my hardware. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Everything's nice and taut. It's gonna be a little difficult because I put the saddlebag back on. But I'm definitely gonna check it. Talk to you guys later.